strangers start unlikely romance amid global pandemic officials. Two dead after Texas chemical plant leak today in history for July 28th five car maintenance tips for the COVID-19 pandemic my first record. Patti LaBelle how Dixie and bootleg wildfires in the West may affect the East Coast Metro Police Officers body cam shows first-hand experience with January 6th rioters CFB shake-up. Why Texas, Oklahoma move to SEC may change college football as we know it Kinzinger to Capitol Police Officers. You guys won all you need for this game of beer pong is me, myself and I is this America. Capitol Police Officer Harry Dunn asks special January 6th House Committee Jan. 6 Committee, DC police officer calls indifference to offices is disgraceful airlines weigh in on mask mandates required for air travel until mid-September Houston sees increase in fentanyl lace drugs rep. Liz Cheney says American people deserve full testimony from January 6th riots four medal events will be contested in the pool. Two-time Olympic gold medalist Lily King, who won bronze in the women's 100-meter breaststroke earlier this week, took home silver in the 200 breaststroke final, with teammate Annie Laser getting bronze. In addition, Ryan Murphy claimed a silver in the men's 200 backstroke. Tokyo, for a second consecutive day, Tokyo organizers announced a record number of coronavirus cases. Friday's total of 27 cases includes three athletes and 15 contractors. On Thursday, organizers announced 24 new coronavirus cases also with three athletes and 15 contractors in that total. Olympic organizers have said they do not see a connection between cases from the Games and the increasing cases in Japan because participants are restricted to their accommodations and Games venues. Tokyo, Russian Evgeny Ryloff set an Olympic record in 1 minute 53 seconds and 27 milliseconds in the men's 200-meter backstroke, beating American Ryan Murphy by 0.88 of a second. The 24-year-old Russian has swept both the 100 and 200 back in Tokyo and has a silver in the 4x200 free relay. Another Olympic record is broken. TVNBC Murphy was the defending Olympic champion in the 100 and 200. In the 100 back in Tokyo, Murphy won bronze, finishing behind Ryloff and Russian teammate Klement Kolesnikov. Tokyo, American Lily King won silver in the women's 200-meter breaststroke Friday morning finishing second to South Africa's Tajana Schoenmaker, who set a world record in 2 minutes 18 seconds and 95 milliseconds. King finished 0.97 of a second behind Schoenmaker. American Annie Laser, King's training mate in Indiana, won the bronze. TVNBC King won a bronze medal in the 100 breaststroke Monday, finishing behind Alaskan teammate Lydia Jacoby, who won gold. King swept both the 100 and 200 breast in Rio five years ago. Tokyo, American Caleb Dressel swam the fastest time in the men's 100-meter butterfly semifinals Friday, setting an Olympic record in 49.71 seconds. Kristof Milak of Hungary was second in qualifying for Saturday's final, finishing in 50.31 seconds. Tokyo, the U.S. men's and women's eight each finished fourth in their respective finals concluding an Olympic regatta in which the nation failed to reach the medal table. It's the first time since 1908 that the US failed to win an Olympic medal in rowing. The women's eight finished with a time of 6 minutes 2 seconds and 78 milliseconds, roughly 4 seconds behind first place Canada. New Zealand finished in second and China in third. The women's placement breaks an Olympic gold medal streak. They had finished first in 2008, 2012 and 2016 a record tied with Romania. The men's eight crossed the finish line with a time of 5 minutes 26 seconds and 75 milliseconds, about two seconds behind first place New Zealand. Germany and Great Britain took silver and bronze, respectively. A then 17-year-old Sydney McLaughlin stepped on the track in Rio de Janeiro as the youngest US track and field athlete since 1976 to compete at the Olympics. The teenage Fenham had enormous potential but little expectations. She finished fifth in her semi-final heat and failed to advance to the women's 400-meter hurdles Olympic final. What a difference four, plus an additional year, can make. It's a crazy time, so much change. I think it's really important and really cool to be a part of it. It's kind of just this new wave and kind of this new generation, McLaughlin said. It's kind of pushing the boundaries as much as possible. 
Videos of Sonny Lee's family reacting to the gymnast winning an Olympic gold medal in the all-around competition quickly went viral on Twitter, with fellow Olympians, celebrities and viewers at home cheering alongside Lee's joyful family. Lee responded to the footage, which has received millions of views, on Thursday, calling her loved ones, the people I do it all for. Her father, John Lee, told the Today show after her victory that their family was holding their breath as she competed. There's no words that can express this right now, he said. To be fair, we probably shouldn't even be playing, Sandgren said, referring to himself and doubles partner Austin Kryacek, who only made the U.S. team because the highest-ranked American men decided that playing an ATP 250 event in Atlanta this week would be a better use of their time. But regardless of how they made it here, Sandgren and Kryacek could very well leave with a bronze medal. They face New Zealand's Marcus Daniel and Michael Venus on Friday for third place.